He's talking about put the search of the field where two sets of human remains were discovered. That search on hold today. Police say this might put an end to a 10 year old missing persons case. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield is live getting a closer look at the scene today. What can you tell us, Ariel? Well, Krista, this wooded area here is where investigators are focusing at their search. You can see Cass County deputies are securing the scene where they tell me they will resume the search tomorrow morning. Yellow crime scene tape across the street. A lot of emotions have ran through us the last couple of days. And flashing police lights has neighbors like Terry Magelson. It's, it's disturbing, obviously uh, unsettling. On edge. The more I analyze it and just think about it, the more I, the more questions comes up, and the more I pray. On Monday, a mushroom hunter exploring these woods discovered human remains. The next day, investigators found a second skull. Until we get a report back from the medical examiner's office, we have no way to identify who we've got. The search area is located on a local quarry company's property that encompasses several acres. It's weird because it's just this little wooded section. There's farmland on either side of it. And this particular little wooded section is just, uh, it's commercial property, so there's nobody over there. Um, you know, it's very secluded. So. Which is why more investigators and cadaver dogs will be out Thursday to look for more clues. While the remains have not yet been identified, the families of missing young woman Kara Kapetsky and Jessica Runyons met with authorities on Tuesday. We have learned this property was not on authorities' radars until Monday, but we have learned another search was conducted in a wooded area similar to this one about three miles away a couple years ago on Route Double Y, but nothing was found. We are live in Cass County, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.